I said thank you. Well, breast cancer is the most common cancer among American women, and October, as you may know, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We're joined this morning by four-time cancer survivor Nina Trevins. Nisa, Nina is also the producing artistic director and co-founder of Tada Youth Theater. Nina, good morning. Hi. <laughs> now, four times, yeah. and um, early in your 20s, yeah. your first bout, and this was Hodgkin's lymphoma? Yeah, 24 mm -hmm. and 29. And then from there, you were diagnosed with breast cancer and lung cancer. Yeah. In the last two years, it was breast cancer and lung cancer. I really thought it was all gone, mm -hmm. um, breast cancer and lung cancer. A little too much. And how were you? How were I, can't, you I can't even imagine. You're right. It is a little too much. You were saying a pain in your leg was, was one of the signs about your breast cancer? A pain in my leg and, and my feet swelled up one day at the beach. And so it was like, you have to go to, you have to find a doctor. You have to go. And... Um, and that led to more testing, which led to a PET scan. Uh, I had a mammogram, I had a sonogram, um, it, it, because it showed, the PET scan showed there was something in my uterus and something in my breast and fluid around my heart. There was a lot of things going on for some reason. Um, and it ended up, the breast cancer ended up being the one that was well, it was cancer. <laughs> mm -hmm. And as we mark Breast Cancer Awareness Month, what do you, what is your message to other women? As someone, you're a survivor, which is amazing. Thank you. What is your message to women? I think you have to trust your gut. And I think, I mean, I think women always have to trust their gut, and I think it's hard sometimes. But when it comes to dealing with doctors, whether they're male or female doctors, you ha have to feel like you can question. Um, you can question... What has what the what has to be done? Does the test have to be this way? Can anything be made easier? Mm -hmm. uh, do I have to stay in the hospital? What, you know, I think you just have to ask everything you want to ask. I also think it's important that when you're doing that asking, you have somebody with you mm -hmm. because you don't necessarily hear it all at the time. And especially when they use terminology that you might not understand, or they say something and you get. I know I get scared, mm -hmm. and then I sort of don't hear the next thing, even if the next thing is better than the first thing. Right. How is your health now? It's okay. Yeah. I mean, I, just, I had a CAT scan, because for the lung cancer, I have to have a CAT scan every mm -hmm. six months. And I, the last week and a half, I barely was breathing, because mm -hmm. I got the results, and it said there was more fluid around my heart, there was a... a, a lymph node that was enlarged, and there was a cluster of nodes in my left lung and the right lung is where they had taken part of my lung out and I so I was told the doctor has to review that in front of the tumor board well that's yeah. just scary mm -hmm. and so then I got a call from my doctor yesterday and he's like it, it seems like it could be nothing we're gonna mm -hmm. retest you in three to four months rather than wait the six months for the, the <sighs> CT so what I have to do is really now say I'm okay and not think about it yeah. at all and until I go back for the test. And then waiting for results is always really hard for me. Talk a little bit, because throughout this entire process, the years, you've obviously started the Tada Youth Theater, which you're also working with now to this day. How has that been a constant in your life? And what, do you, what are you guys working on? Currently, we're in rehearsal for a production called Sleepover. It's actually going to be the sixth time that we're doing that show. And it ta it's about a sleepover party. Mm -hmm. um, girls are having the sleepover parties, and the boys crash it, mm -hmm. and all the hilarious things that happen <laughs> right. because of that. And I, I think, I honestly think if I didn't have work, if I didn't have Tada, and it's not just the work, it's the working with the kids. Um, if I didn't have that, I don't know. I think some days would just be too difficult. But... I'm going in and I'm working with kids and they don't really let you get away with a lot of crap. You know, you, <laughs> right. It doesn't matter how you feel or what you, you yeah. still have to do your work with them and be there for them. And so it takes me out of myself. I mean, I do have to find times to care for myself and that's something that's hard, but I'll, I'll find time to binge watch something I really like mm -hmm. or I'll go to the zoo and watch the polar bear and right. that's comforting. Well, thank you so much for being here and sharing your story. Yeah, we, we really, appreciate really appreciate it. it. And when does the show open? The show opens in mid-November. Mid-November here in Manhattan? Yes. Okay. Yeah, 28th Street. Okay, thank, thank you, Nina. You. We appreciate it.